Restoring files with the Windows 11 file history tool is really simple. There are two options that we're going to show you today to restore a previous version of one of your backed up files. So the first way that you can get into is if you press the Windows key down here or just hit Windows on your keyboard and start typing file, you'll see the option for file history pop back up. Give that a click. And over on the left hand side, you'll see an option to restore personal files. Now, of course, you have to have your external USB backup drive connected. You'll see here it's all connected. Everything's green. Everything's happy. So we can restore personal files. When we click there, what we're going to get shown is a library of all the files and folders that we have backed up. You'll also see at the top here that we have the date of the backup and how many backups that we have. If you don't want to back up one from today, you can use these left and right arrows here to flip between the days or the versions of the files that you have backed up. We've only got one because we've just done one backup this afternoon. But what you can do is pop into a folder, for example, the downloads folder, and say that I'm interested in restoring this file here, quote, I can click it here and then just press the restore button down here at the bottom. Now, it's going to want to restore it back to the original location. So we know that in our downloads folder, I already have a copy of this file actually. So it's giving me the option, do I want to replace the file? Do I want to compare them both and have a look? So I can do that or I can cancel this. If I want to restore that file somewhere else and not overwrite the version that I've got today, give it a click. And then up here, there's a little cog on the right hand side. Click here and you'll see an option to restore to. So now I can restore the file to a different location. Maybe I'll pop it onto my desktop. So I'll pop that file on there. And now there it is. So now I can open both of those files at the same time and I can compare the differences. The alternative way to do a backup is without using the file history tool at all. Let me just close this down and close this. If I just go into Windows Explorer, down here with the yellow folder. And I'm just gonna browse into my downloads folder again. I'll pick a different file, perhaps this Excel document. If I give it a right click and I choose the show more options, you'll see that there's an option here to restore a previous version. Give that a click and you'll then see all of the previous backed up versions that we have. Now, again, we have to have the external drive connected for this to work. And you can only see one in ours because we've only done one backup. But if you've been doing lots and lots of backups, you'll have every single version available to you here. And again, you can choose to open that file, to restore that file, to overwrite the existing one or to restore it to a different location. So two different options there for how to restore your files from the Windows 11 backup. Both really, really easy, very simple to use. And that's it for this video, guys. We'll see you next time.